Hello, my name is Richard Tavisigayim and I'll be talking about the key partners and the key activities within our business model canvas. For co-founders, we were thinking of a chief technical officer who would be in charge of the application development, the technical side of it. And we were also thinking of contractors. Um, that would be uh, a marketing agency, a software development company, or law or marketing firms, uh, which would take care of the legal side of the business as well. Uh, for potential investors, we were thinking of companies like Under Armour, Gymshark, Nike to take care of, to help out with the health and fitness side of the app, as well as um, the Ontario Shores Foundation Center for Mental Health, uh, Google or Bell to advocate for uh, mental health side, as they are heavily involved in the advocacy for mental health issues and how to combat them. Uh, we were thinking for small business startup funds to uh, contact a company called kickstarter.com. Uh, they offer plans for small businesses uh, to have startup funds. So we were thinking we could get uh, that through them. And we were also thinking that gyms could become sponsors as they uh, could, we could use their facilities to record the in gym workouts as well as um, provide marketing opportunities for them as we promote uh, their facilities in our app uh, so our users would be able to find different ways or different gyms to go to. Our key activities uh, would include requiring the customer to have access to a smartphone or a device that is capable of using apps on it. Um, our main distribution channels would include the Apple App Store or Google Play Store, Amazon App Store, and the Windows Store. All of this would be run through a main homepage, which would have uh, the ability to log in to your account uh, and have access to all the databases with the videos, uh, both in home and uh, in gym workouts and the mental health side as well, uh, mental health exercises. Um, and you would be able to have links to download uh, the apps on different platforms, whether it be on an iOS device or an Android device, or your computer itself, um, you would have links to download everything from that main website. Thank you. In correlation to the business Canva model, I will be speaking about the key resources and the value propositions. Firstly, our key resources are financial resources, human resources, and intellectual resources. Intellectual resources such as patents and trademarks, essentially so no one copies our idea. Um, our distribution channel is solely selling to customers directly. We are not going through a third party. This is business to customer relationship. In terms of our value propositions, so due to the pandemic, there was a huge decrease in general well-being and there was an enormous increase in mental health. So our proposition is the app connects mental health to fitness and it guides the users through various of different programs to achieve mental clarity while staying fit and active. So the problems that's essentially being solved are any mental health issues that people are facing through the pandemic, such as depression, anxiety, loneliness, obesity, addictions, etc. So our app is a free to download app. It essentially has two parts of it. There's the premium and there's the normal. Whereas premium is more, um, gets more fancier, such as us giving you a detailed diet tree plan and us giving us giving consumers yoga meditations breathing exercises whereas the free package just consists of daily workout routines which is still effective and still something to do to keep customers minds off what's going on today thank you in terms of customer relationships we broke it down into four different categories first off we'll be talking about the personal support which will be the direct communication with the company representative for any problems or concerns Secondly, on our app, everything will be included that is needed in order for it to be self-serviced by the users. Thirdly, within the app, we will have a community section where all users will be able to post, view, and connect with one another in order to help encourage, motivate, and give tips to one another. Furthermore, we will be listening to customer feedback from the app and reviews, provide excellent customer service, and answer all users' concerns and questions. Lastly, the app will be completely free to download and will have all the aspects of health incorporated into one whole area.
Moving on to channels, our app will be available on all mobile platforms, including the Apple App Store, Amazon App Store, Google Play Store, etc. Additionally, we will also have a website available where you can log in and do everything else as if you were on the mobile app. Furthermore, we will be able to reach the largest amount of audience in a relatively cost-efficient way by networking, marketing, and connecting online through social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. In today's society, an average person scrolls through 300 feet of mobile content every day according to Net News Ledger. So as a result, we have integrated our channels into all of our customer routines as this is a daily task for the majority of our users scrolling through their mobile content every single day. Hi there, I'm Jaden Chapman and I'll be discussing the customer segments portion of our business model canvas. So right off the bat, our business is made for any and everyone who is looking to improve on their physical and mental health. Although our targeted groups are people between the ages of 14 and 55 who attend the gym regularly, through our research we found that there are nearly 184 million registered gym members belonging to 210,000 different locations. This demographic is made up of 7% of people between the ages of 14 and 19, 33% being between the ages of 20 to 35, and 24 being between the ages of 36 to 56, and 22% being baby boomers. It is intended to make this application accessible for all, with the targeted margin being those between the ages of 14 to 56, who are interested in building and creating a better lifestyle for themselves. It is our goal to reach this segment within the market as they are more knowledgeable and have regular access in regards to technology on a daily basis. With the average millennial spending 5.7 hours on their phone a day, logging into our app will only become a part of their daily routine. Speaking on the cost structure of our app, Mentally Fit, after plenty of research and development, we were able to look up statistics of a very well-known fitness app called MyFitnessPal. We were able to look up their statistics such as users and revenue from the beginning of 2015 all the way up to the present date. In 2015, MyFitnessPal had around 50 million users, which we took a sensible approach and divided by one by 1,000 to get a realistic user basis for the first year of 50,000 users. Our advertising on the App Store includes an annual fee of $99 for the listing and 50, 50 cents per click. We worked out from online sources and ads that usually these ads get about 250,000 clicks annually. We charge $20 for our premium subscription as we provide live sessions and personalized workout videos. Available to our clients five hours a day from Monday to Sunday, and they can serve a large number of clients at one time through a shared live stream in the app. To create this app, we paid a professional app developer of $90,000 to create and maintain the app for the first year. Our insurance premium comes in at $500 a month, and it is, it is a gym insurance coverage plan that covers our fitness instructors and our office assistants with anything that they might incur. The fitness videos made by our instructors can be made at gyms or at the comfort of their own home. But as a backup, we have rented a studio for $1,200 a month for the videos to be made comfortably with our own fitness equipment. It also gives our assistant a space to edit the videos and carry out the rest of her tasks. Hi, my name is Steven Sukas, and I will be discussing the possible revenue streams for Mentally Fit. A typical gym membership costs anywhere from $10 to $300 a month. A uh, gym like Fit for Less is $10 a month. A gym like LA Fitness is $40 a month. A gym like Lifetime Fitness has different levels of, of memberships that you can pay for, starting at $65 and going up to $270 a month. Given these statistics, we'll start our subscription fee at $20 a month and have different levels of subscriptions up to $60 a month. Uh, the free use of our app will be for mental health assessments and workout routines, whereas the more you pay in the levels of subscription, the more services you'll get leading up to meditation, breathing exercises, nutritional plans, workout routines, and mental health assessments. Another possible revenue stream apart from subscriptions can be apparel. Uh, we can sell merchandise such as t-shirts and shorts and whatnot with our logo on it. And um, to get people to buy our apparel, we can promote that we will donate a percentage of the sales to mental health places or gyms or any fitness and health institutions that we can support. Uh, and the third and final uh, revenue stream can be taking a royalty on companies that we allow to promote on our app. So we allow companies like Under Armour, Nike and whatnot to promote on our app. And in exchange, we take a certain percentage of the sales that they make. Thank you.